His lantern flickered off. It was life or death. Now he had to navigate the darkness with a rickety ladder and no light. When his enslavers forced him to explore underground caves, they underestimated the bottomless cave pits and his limitless genius. This is Two Minute Black History, what you didn't learn in school. Stephen Bishop was 17 when his enslaver brought him to a cavern in Kentucky that he wanted to turn into a tourist attraction. The teenager descended into the unknown with little equipment and only a flickering lantern. Exploring Mammoth Cave was no easy feat. Bishop navigated through sinkholes, cracks, boulders, and underwater springs, often surrounded by pitch blackness and the loudest silence. Exploring the caves might have been the closest he'd ever been to feeling free, so he kept pushing. Bishop led all-day tours, sometimes for up to 18 hours. He once crossed a 105-foot bottomless pit using a ladder and carried his lantern by his teeth. He was so genius that he created a map of the cave by memory. Bishop knew so much about geology that visiting scientists came just to learn from him. Mammoth Cave is the longest cave system in the world and the must-see underworld is a top destination for about 500,000 visitors each year. Without Bishop, they wouldn't know nearly as much about the cave as is known today. Often white supremacy leads us into situations that can make life hard to navigate. When it feels like the darkness is beginning to cave in around us, we must remember that like Stephen Bishop, our resilience is crucial to our liberation. In order to move towards the future, you've got to look to the past. This has been Two Minute Black History, a podcast by Push Black. Show your support by sharing this episode on your social media and join us in amplifying stories we all deserve to know.